One of the best kept secrets in life is that instead of trying to design a perfect life, try to design a perfect day. Because as the saying goes, your life is just comprised of days. And so if you can engineer your perfect day, your perfect life will come out of it. Now in this video, I wanna share a basic sequence you can use to design your perfect day. Hey, it's Alex Hein, author of the book, Master the Day. Now the first link below is for a free journaling worksheet to help you reinvent your life, design your perfect day, and plot out how to reach your wildest goals. So you can check it out, the first link right there below the video. And also you'll get an email every couple days on how to use journaling to radically change the direction of your life. Now the first thing that I think is highly underrated is actually setting a deliberate mission or intention for the day. You know, during the worst parts of my life, I found it incredibly powerful to say, today, my only mission is that if nothing else changes externally, I'm gonna pretend like I'm the happiest dude on earth. And ironically, when you just say that in the morning, that's your mission, that's your intention. I'm just gonna try it for a day. What do I have to lose? Nothing can change and you can really be a happier person. You could also say, you know what? I struggle with money. My intention today is I'm gonna spend no money, not $1 today, nothing on Amazon, not a muffin in the morning, not a cup of coffee or afternoon snack, nothing. That intention will set the tone and set the deliberate direction of your life. And you can use that for pretty much any domain of your life. You know, the entire point of a deliberate mission is that you're choosing a different path in your life. If you've done the same thing every day, you can say, I'm gonna drive a different way to work. I'm gonna spend less money, or I'm gonna buy a healthy thing instead of an unhealthy thing. I'm gonna call my mom, I'm gonna meditate, I'm gonna get up 30 minutes earlier and read a book. Those intentions are highly underrated because they actually work when you begin your day with a concrete plan and a concrete focus. The second thing is to actually organize your day and your life around growth goals. You know, I was once interviewed on a podcast and somebody asked me at the end, what was the number one ritual or philosophy or belief that allowed you to reinvent some aspects of your life? And my answer was very simple. It was that I prioritize the projects I work on based on if they are growth goals or not. So going from a writer of a blog to suddenly producing YouTube videos was something I had never done. I had to learn all these new things, overcome all these new fears, change all these beliefs. Going from a writer to someone who published a book, I had to learn how to write a book, how to overcome fears of being an author, how to hire editors and hire designers. From there, I had to learn aspects of YouTube and course creation and coaching. Every single progression was a growth goal, was a growth mission. I either had to acquire new skills or new mindsets and beliefs. And every time I've acquired a new skill or a mindset and belief, and every time I've achieved something new, I've always acquired a little bit more self-belief, a little bit more self-esteem, a little bit of a bigger believer that I can do things that were once impossible. So when you orient your life around growth goals, no matter what it is, you really need two essential things. The first is that it has to be something harder than what you've done. It has to be something that you don't know how to currently do. Or it has to be something where you will actually fundamentally change your belief about yourself in the process. Because the very act of figuring out something you've never done produces self-esteem. It produces confidence. And the more you do things that you have never done, the more in the future you'll continue to do things that previously scared you that you've never done. And so when your life is oriented around growth and getting better, there is a level at which you realize not much really scares you anymore. Not much is really that intimidating. And at that level, you go for everything you have ever wanted in your life. You ask out the person that scares you. You sign up for the 5K you're not ready for. You write the book even though you're afraid of being criticized. You shoot the YouTube video even though maybe it's not as good as you want. You live the brave life, not the easy life. Now the third thing for designing your perfect day is to really organize your calendar and schedule around your essential time blocks and your energy. So I share this metaphor a lot or this lesson, this analogy, because it's very important. What do the best tennis pros in the world do for hours a day? They play tennis. What do the best, most successful writers do every day? They write. <laughs> what do the best physicians or surgeons do every day? They see patients. So at the end of the day, the best in the world are honing a craft and a skill. 
So whether you are a student or you're working in a field or you're an entrepreneur, whatever it is, there is a skill that you are developing every day. Whether the skill is study, managing people, coding, or some other thing. If you orient your day around your core skill set that you are developing, and then you protect that time in an hour or two hour or three hour increments, whatever that goal is, you orient your day around skill development as well as what projects require the most energy. If you can do that, then you're gonna see a rapid progression in terms of your skill, your development, and your success. So if you know that your highest period of energy is 9 a.m. to 11 a.m., put all your core skill development, your hard project, your hard studying, that difficult client that you have to present for, orient it around the period of the highest energy of the day. And if your daily work is around some kind of specific skill, then actually take some time to plot out when you are drilling or training that skill during the highest energy time period of the day. So when you orient your daily life, your daily missions around skill development and energy, you're making the best use of your time to move the needle in a big way in the proper direction. So I hope that helps you guys. Before you go, check out the link below for a free journaling worksheet to help you figure out where to move the needle in your life for the best results to build out your dream life. You'll also get a free journaling email every few days on how to use journaling to totally reinvent your life. So you can check it out right there down there below. And then I also have a recent video on this topic right over here.